Hey guys, welcome back to the Manga Mart channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 321 and 322. It looks like from where we got left off in the last episode, we're going to get the, the reveal, hopefully, of the new ship. Because we got told that the ship was done, uh, Frankie's finished the ship, but then that wasn't all. We got the announcement that every single member of the crew now has a bounty. Some better than others. <laughs> poor Chopper, uh, you know, like 50 berries. <laughs> uh, poor Sanji didn't get the cool picture he wanted. <laughs> Uh, I think Nami's just distraught as well that she even has a bounty in the first place. Everyone else seemed happy about it. Uh, so, <laughs> that is where, we, obviously, the way the Frankie family were reacting, like they were looking like they're going to uh, say to Luffy about the fact that Frankie has this bounty, basically, and so it's... We're going to maybe get the discussion in these episodes about Frankie joining the crew, right? And I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Like, I, I, I've accepted Frankie as a straw hat a long time ago. Uh, and I, he has to join. He has to join. And I think that the way it was set up with um, the way the iceberg was talking to him when they were building the ship together... Like, Iceberg was basically hinting towards him to be like, listen, we both know you really like these guys. We both know that your dream was about more than just, like, building a ship. Take me, take me go. Uh, but he's kind of, like, he was adamant that he didn't want to leave the island. So, that's where we are just now. We still have to... <laughs> we still have to deal with Usopp as well because Usopp was there and, you know, he was spying on them uh, through the window and, like, rehearsing his lines for how he was going to come back into the crew. So we still have to, like, even though, like, right, we can have the conversation about Frankie, we also need to have the conversation about Usopp and what we're going to do there. So this feels like what we're going to get into in these episodes, but at this point, guys... At this point, with this arc, um, and I know it's supposed to be like, this is like post Ennis Lobby, it's like its own little thing, but based on the past couple of episodes, like, thoughts like this just go out the window, where you can think, right, if you look at it rationally, we're probably going to get, in this episode, like, we're going to see the new ship, uh, and, uh, you know, maybe get the Frankie st stuff about him joining the crew. <laughs> Any other time, that would be a logical thing to think. But with these few episodes we've had in the past, like, I don't know, like, it, uh, anybody could show up. Anybody could show up here. You know, it's just... Or we could jump to somewhere else. Like, we could jump to um, Dragon and get some stuff with, uh, with Dragon. Or we could be going somewhere to find out about these other... Uh, four emperors there's just so much going on like and like even like we got the confrontation between shanks and whitebeard we got luffy's family reveal with a uh, garp dragon all of that it's just it's been non-stop non-stop ever since uh, any's lobby kind of died down well i thought it was going to die down it has not done that so guys Let's get into these episodes. Let's see what it has in store for us this time. Um, you know, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Everyone that has comes back. Uh, thank you all so, so much. And thank you all for um, all your kind words and congratulations for the channel getting to a 1,000 subscribers in the last video. I really, really appreciate it, guys. It means the world to me. You are all legends. Thank you so so much let's do this episode 321 let's go <laughs> look at saji still absolutely devastated by this picture oh uh, yeah frankie's joining the crew don't worry about it zambai don't worry about it oh yeah i forgot that he was like meant to be like the son of pirates 
Yes, Luffy. He has to be the shipwright. I'm with you, bud. I'm with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, these three. These three are distraught. And look, these three are so happy with their new bounties. <laughs> Prepare for the worst regarding. Oh, we're having the Usopp conversation. Good. <laughs> Oh, oh, so they've already been speaking about it? <laughs> oh, Sanji. <laughs> you knew Zoro was going to have to get a word in about it. Oh. Oh, that's how they got the picture of Nami. Like a reporter tricked her into it. Posing for a picture? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, see what I mean? Like, here we are. Wait, wait, Marine HQ here? Are they talking about us? Okay. Blackfoot guy. Why isn't that? <laughs> I'm sure he'd like to know that as well. Oh, this is the photographer? Oh my god. Is that why Sanji doesn't have a picture? Because the photographer forgot to take the lens cap off? <laughs> oh man, I'm, so, I'm ready. Let me see this ship. Can see any kind of sea. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see it. We're going to be king of the pirates someday. Oh. Okay. King of animals. Like a lion? Oh. Okay. You know what? It actually does give off the same kind of, like, vibe of the Mary. I think doing, like, the animal head on the front was a, was a smart call. The familiarity. Robin likes it. What kind of flower? Yeah, it's a lion, Robin. <laughs> it's a lion. <laughs> Oh, it's got grass on the deck. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're so happy with it. Are they not going to show us inside? Oh, don't tease us like that. Come on, show us other parts of the ship. Yeah. Where is he? Get him out of here. Oh, so he knows himself that he actually wants to join, so he wants to avoid them, because he feels like he has to stay on the island kind of thing. Man, look at the size of it when you see it panning there. Oh, look at the little swing on the tree. An aquarium? Oh, it shows the other parts of it. You really intend to take him with you. Do whatever it takes. Right, we can't kidnap him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I don't think that's what we can't kidnap somebody. Oh, he's a. Oh, they weren't expecting him, him to be back at the house. Oh, they're going to have the conversation with him to be like. Yeah, say it, Zambai. That's it, confront him. Oh, he won't like that. Oh. Yeah. He didn't like that. That's right, Frankie. Just stop being stubborn about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Zambai was watching him when he was building the ship. So he, he saw him. And his element. This feels like somebody that's like, people have staged an intervention for them, and they're just lashing out. To be like, I'm not the problem here. <laughs> yeah, what? What? <laughs> wait, 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 what's oh my god, they're actually showing this? 
Oh my god, this is their tactic. <laughs> they're, they're actually crying, running away from a naked Frankie. Passing his underwear. Oh my god. Is that, <laughs> she's flying away in the background. Oh, Jesus. Oh my, is this how they're going to get him to go and see the straw hats? By stealing his pants and passing it <laughs> until they can make it to the other end of the island while he chases them. <laughs> the pair of <laughs> Oh my god, is he going to run through the town? With his bits dangling. <laughs> oh, oh my god, he is. Oh, Frankie. Jeez, man. Oh. No wonder you don't have a good reputation here. Oh. Oh my god. P perfectly. Perfectly timed baseball. Oh my god. Yeah, get, get the children inside. Think of the children. <laughs> This, this, this is a set piece that I did not, like, I, that's what I was saying at the start, like, this is, I could not have predicted this is where we were going to go with this episode. It's like a life or death to deliver these swim <laughs> Oh my, is he, is he the last one to? Nobody left? Luffy going to join in? Oh my god, is he going to take these? <laughs> Luffy, he's there, just talk to him. You don't need to take this one. <laughs> oh my god, he keeps showing his ass. <laughs> oh, oh, they're going to have a conversation in the middle of this. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the shit, Frankie. <laughs> See the soldier dock system I invented? <laughs> no. See, if you come with us, Frankie, you can explain all this stuff and show it to us. <laughs> Instead of showing us your ass. <laughs> I really want to see this aquarium. Yeah, I, I want to see what that looks like. Come on board, Frankie. Stop being this way, man. Oh, Luffy. Oh, he's past the chopper. Oh, chopper, don't catch it in your mouth. <laughs> oh? Guys, what? Oh, my God. Now we're going to shoot him from a cannon? <laughs> I know they said take him by force, but what a way to get somebody to join your crew. Like, this is just, this has been such an absurd the episode oh my god look at the way he landed now he's on full display <laughs> oh frankie hide hide the children luffy there it's there frankie there's your new crew there's the ship look at how proudly he's holding these <laughs> Nah, wish you a safe journey. Come on. Yes. You know you want to. Right, that episode was just like, I don't even know how to react to it. It, 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 was, it was so absurd, but like, it, it was funny. <laughs> but... I just, I was not expecting that. When it, when Frank, uh, when Iceberg and that were saying to him, you're going to have to take him by force. And like the way Zambai and that spoke about it as well, to be like, Luffy, you need to basically, you need to convince him um, to go. Because he wants to go. We all know he wants to go. But it's going to take some convincing. Or basically, force. I was not expecting one of the Frankie family to tackle him to the ground, steal his underwear, 
and then for the Frankie family and a joint effort to <laughs> pass the underwear between themselves and keep it away from him to lure him to the place where Luffy and the crew are, uh, are basically. And then Luffy and them showing up to help them at the end to, to deliver them to the ship. That was not how I expected this to go down. Like, I, it was like a full episode of that. And it was, don't get me wrong, it was very funny, right? It was very funny. And I, like, in terms of, like, this next episode, I feel like this is going to be the, right, he's going to accept it, basically. He's going to be like, right, I need to come to terms with the fact that I formed a bond with these guys uh, and I actually do want to go out to sea with them. And then, because that is the thing, like, we're very grateful that he's gave us this ship, right? Great stuff. Gave us the ship. But, if we leave here without him, then we're basically back to the situation that we had with the Mary. In the sense of, this ship's going to go through some bad times. Usopp's going to try and fix it as best he can. But, like, I don't, like, I don't want to say goodbye to another ship. I didn't realise the emotional toll that saying goodbye to a animated ship was going to cause me and I do not want to do it again right because obviously I feel like this like the whole point is that it's a crew member we've been missing for a while and we've been speaking about a shipwright for a while so having a shipwright on it and obviously this is his dream ship that he's built uh that can sail any sea so having Frankie on it my God, like, what a, what a bonus that would be. What a, like, anything that happens ship-wise, he's there, you know? It's just, that's what you want. You don't want to leave here without him. So, the ship itself, I really, I like the, like, I was worried, I was like, right, how are they going? Because, like, the, I felt like the, the Mary had, like, that character, and I feel like they like Oda's recognised that and went, right, I need to do something kind of like it's obviously a bigger and cooler looking ship, you know, and it looks very a lot more pleasing on the eye with the with the grass on the deck and stuff. I like all that. Much bigger. I can't wait to see all these rooms that they're talking about. Uh but the they gave it the kind of similar like animal head. I don't know what you call like that bit that was front of the ship. I can't remember, but like you know what I'm talking about. They they've gave it that kind of like I don't know like it's that kind of like Mary was like the animal head, but it was that kind of like cartoonish like um, cute animal figurehead. They went with it with the lion. I like that. Right. I like that they've done it. Um, gives it its own character. You know, because like, I, I, I thought to myself when they were going to reveal it, I'm like, maybe Frankie's going to put like the the same kind of figurehead kind of thing, that, put like the Mary, like the, the sheep head on it again. But then it's that way where that sacrifice and like that goodbye might have tarnished it a little bit to kind of like, try and thing with this one of the new ships. So I like that he's done that. He's gave it like so this ship's got like a new identity with a new kind of figurehead. Um I'm hoping that's still gonna be like Luffy's special seat. You can sit on there on top of the lion's head now. But yeah, I like it. I like the ship. I like the design. Um I'm wondering what that thing that Frankie was talking about, like a a soldier thing? A soldier system? Uh, I don't know. Like He didn't explain it, right? But I want to see what he's talking about. Because based on Frankie's previous ships and Frankie's body, <laughs> like, 
there's probably some crazy things going on with this ship. So I want to see some explanations from Frankie. But let's get into this next episode because it looks like, hopefully, this will be the episode in which Frankie officially joins the crew. So let's do it. Episode 322. Let's go. Get, get on the ship, Frankie. He's still been stubborn about it. Still been stubborn about it. Oh, I should brush for even for this. <laughs> now he's doing poetry here as he poses with his willy flashing about in front of all these townspeople. <laughs> he's a man among men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just a pervert. Mm. Just use force. Oh, what's Robin going to do? Yeah, what's the plan, Robin? Oh, devil for it. Robin. No, 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 surely not, surely not. Is this happening? Is this, is this happening right now? What is going on? I still want to be a man. <laughs> I can't believe that this, like, yeah, I'm happy that Robin is part of the crew, feels happy here, but this is savage, Robin, like, this, <laughs> think about how much this man's helped you, like, don't do this to him, oh, iceberg, time for a, time for a talk, Speak some sense into him, Iceberg. My base ship is completed one day. I bored that sh Okay. So this is his, like, foot. This is his dream, then. We've all got a dream, Frankie. Let's do this. Yeah, Tom likes that. Yes, because Tom didn't do that. Tom didn't get on Roger's ship. Everything you're doing on the island right now. Atonement. Oh yeah, he still he still feels guilty because of what happened with Tom. Yeah, still blames himself. Even if Tom even if I forgive him. Iceberg's forgiven him. Yeah, forgive himself. That is that is what it is. Oh, it's, oh. iceberg, iceberg. Yes, tell him. Does Robin is Robin still got a hold of him? I don't think so. Cause it's still being pain. <laughs> Oh, they, oh, they've sent his bag down now. Come on, Frankie. All of these people are only thinking of what's best for you. Everybody here loves you, buddy. Don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, did you just realise that? They came all the way to Annie's lobby to save your life, man. I think they care about you, Frankie. <laughs> Crying again. Oh, she, she does still have... Robin, let go of this man's crown jewels. <laughs> Chop, chopper's distraught. He's crying, Robin. Let him go. 
Why do they keep doing this? Like they keep saying fruits. <laughs> to reference his testicle. <laughs> Why are they doing this? This is <laughs> these episodes have been insane. What just happened? <laughs> oh, Robin stopped. Do it once to very oh oh so she had stopped right okay right I've got it I've got it right so he's pretending that Robin still because he's crying because of what's happening because of what they said to him oh okay we're back with Garp. Okay. Oh no, okay. Back to Frankie. <laughs> Bikini guy. <laughs> oh, we're getting flashbacks of how we met like Zamba in them. Oh, is this when he like came back to Water 7? As like a cyborg? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You're fighting the Terminator, buddy. Just, you know, give up. Yeah. Look at the size of his hand. <laughs> oh. So make the bikes. So that's how he became the boss of the back streets. Oh, we're getting the sisters. Is well. right. Okay, so we're getting like how he he's basically changed all these people's lives. <laughs> Like, like everybody just like he just shows up in the back streets, and they're all like, "Who's this guy in the bikini?" <laughs> Sponge booze from others in broad daylight. No closest. <laughs> Let me take you for some good cola. Take you under my wing. Oh, and he took in all the kind of like starving. Right. So he basically just showed up in War Seven. Rounded up all the misfits and like, you know, people that were down on their luck. Created the Frankie family from that. That's why they all love him so much. You know? Oh, that's good. That, that I like that little bit of, you know, backstory there. Just to show you how this... Because I didn't expect to love this group as much as I do now. Not a chance. Oh, Zoro. Zoro and Sanji. I forgot they weren't there. <laughs> Oh, what's happening? Yeah, what, what, what's wrong? Oh, okay, that's why they showed Gap shit. So now he's going to... Yeah, he wasn't going to capture us. What, has he changed his mind? What's happening here? <laughs> yeah, like, put your... Put your swimsuit on, man. Come on. Get on board. Yeah. Now he's back to arrogant Frankie. I love it. Balling his eyes out a minute ago. <laughs> yes. Come on. Ah, oh, God. I... I love Frankie. Uh, it's just I'm so happy that... Uh, look at the smile on Robin's face. Robin, you just nearly crippled this man. <laughs> yes. Oh. God, Tom's such a great character as well. Like, this is like... Oh. Let's do this. He loved you, Frankie. You're an iceberg. Oh my god, look at these. Put the swim trunks on. Put them back on. Galila. His brother, Iceberg. Yeah. Oh. Chimney's crying. Oh, Yokozuna. Oh. 
So the townspeople are like they're 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 they do like him, you know. Oh. Oh God, this is kind of reminding me of Bratty with uh, with Sanji. Oh God, he's cracking his eyes out again. <laughs> What's with that jump? What's with that? Oh God. <laughs> yeah, put the swimsuit on. Okay, that that was actually like, as <laughs> some of the crazy things that have happened in these episodes, these two episodes here were like a bit absurd, right? But by the end of it, a very heartfelt, emotional goodbye. I loved it. You know, we've got to where we had to be. Frankie has joined the crew. I'm so hot, like. Do you know that way where I was like 90% sure? I'm like, right, Frankie is definitely joining this crew. I feel like he's already a crew member. But there was that little bit of me. There was that little bit of me that was like, right, they could do a VV to me. You know, they could <laughs> they could do it and like something could happen. Just like, just pre prepare for the possibility that it might not happen, right? So glad that that's us now. Frankie is the ship, right? It's always that great feeling when a new crew member's coming on board the ship and you, you're going to get to see them interact. I can't wait to see Frankie interacting with the rest of the crew, like just on the ship. I can't wait to see it, right? Because it's been so, it feels like it's been so long since we've actually just been out on the, out on the sea, you know? Because like, you know, like in a water seven, the problems with the Mary, and then it feels like just such a saga we've been on, where we've, like, just, it's going to feel good to just be, like, out and not knowing what the next adventure is going to be again on the ship, you know, and getting to see what this ship's all about, see all these new rooms that they're talking about. Can't wait. I want to see this aquarium. I really want to see this aquarium. Um, <laughs> That scene with Robin completely caught me off guard that was hilarious i you know what i love about this is you can see now that robin has accepted that she is part of this crew and accepted who she is you can see the changes in her um even like leading into water seven you can see her becoming more comfortable with the crew but this here, this side of Robin, I'm all for it, right? I feel really bad for Frankie because that is an absolute savage thing to do, right? Oh, my God. What a... You get chills just seeing it. You're like, oh, my God, Frankie, I feel for you, buddy. I feel for you. <laughs> I, I was not expecting that. That... When, when, when she did the devil fruit and you saw those arms curling out from his legs, I'm like, this cannot be happening here. This cannot be what's about to happen. You know, I, I can just imagine Oda writing that scene with a big smile on his face to be like, ha, this will be hilarious, <laughs> right? Oh my God, just totally unexpected. Hilarious. <laughs> Luffy screaming at her. To be like, you're going to turn them into a woman. Oh my god. And then the sisters shouting all the different kind of fruits coming off the branch. Oh. Jeez. Right. But why, why is Garp coming after us now? Like, I hope we're going to get an explanation to that. Like, what? Because he was—he seemed quite happy to be like, "Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna capture you guys." What's changed? Has something changed? Is it us that he's coming after? Uh, because I thought it was weird that it showed you it cut to the front of Gap ship, and them saying like, "Can kind I of like let's go?" kind of thing, and then it just cut away. So I was like, I, I, I honestly thought that that at that moment. We were being taken somewhere else, like we were seeing Gap, he's travelled somewhere, what are these guys up to? But no, apparently he's back, and now he's coming after us. Hmm. 
I wonder why, right? Something's obviously happened, but I don't know what it could be. I honestly don't know what it could be. Like, obviously, unless it's not actually us that he's there for, and like Zoro and Sanji are mistaken, like they've just came back for another reason. I don't know, right? But <laughs> these two episodes were such a gear shift that I'm still trying to kind of like process it. Like the first one that with, with the stuff with the swim trunks, just it was so surreal that that was the concept of how we were getting him to the ship. And then <laughs> that one there with what Robin was doing with him. <laughs> My God, like, right, okay. But it's that special thing that this series can do where they can take something like that, those two scenarios there, which were ridiculous, and combine them with incredibly heartfelt messages and conversations and flashbacks. So you get that mix of, here's a guy on the ground writhing around because a woman is using her devil fruit power to grab on to his private area <laughs> uh, and then you get the kind of mixed up with the kind of flashbacks of how this man basically transformed the kind of like the poorer area or like the the back i don't know what they call it the back streets or like the, the criminal zone of Water 7, he showed up, he took all the kind of like gangs under his wing, he took, uh, you know, the the people that were kind of like homeless and like starving, he took all these kind of like misfits under him and created this Frankie family. And what I like about it, the explanation is, even though like people, like sometimes people think they've got like a shady reputation, they don't actually do anything bad in the town. Like when when we when I hated them at the start of the arc, it was that way where I, like when you think about it and you go, oh wait a minute, in their mind, they're dealing with pirates, so they don't have any idea the nature of the straw hats. They, all they know is pirates have showed up. Apparently they've got money, uh, and they're thinking let's take care of them, uh, and take their money because they're probably bad people. Fair enough. You know, and you know that way where you know what kind of people they are now, you know the nature. It is, it is, you know, the hope of, I really hope that we get to see Water 7 again, you know, and I do have faith that we will because of the way that Oda writes his story. You feel like the long form storytelling you, there's no like little threads or anything that you think is going to be forgotten about. So I really hope that we get, in the future, uh, down the line, we get to see maybe if Iceberg has accomplished, you know, when he was drawing those blueprints and speaking to Frankie about wanting to basically turn Water 7 into like a ship, right? I really hope that down the line we get to visit places like this again and see how they've got on after all the aftermath of, you know, the arc taking place. The same with Skypea, Alabasta, you know, like maybe like a couple of places in the East Blue, you know, like Nami's hometown, places like that, right? I really want to see that in the future. Just because of these characters. I feel like War 7, this place for me, is my favourite cast. My f it turned out to be my favourite cast of like side characters. I love these characters. They're so, so good. Even the ones that I hated at the start, like the Frankie family, you know, the turnaround has been insane. You know? And they make you... Well, Oda has a way of making you care so much about characters that are the smallest parts you know, they give it gives them a little character trait or a little, you know, piece of the story that just kind of endears you to them. It's, the writing is 
so damn good. The mixture of comedy and, you know, em just emotional writing. Perfect. Perfect. He struck that balance. Perfect where you can have a bunch of really heavy, um, you know, information heavy episodes and then jump into two episodes here, which, you know, had some like absurd comedy moments in them. But at the same time, had some great, like, we got, like even though all that stuff happened, we got the reveal of the new ship, and we got, like, Frankie officially joining the crew, we got him coming to terms with, you know, like, Iceberg was saying, forgiving himself, and being, because he was denying himself his dream because he felt responsible for what happened with Tom, and he wanted to protect the place that basically Tom like that, he felt like he had to take Tom's place there and be like, right, I need to stay here and help this place prosper. But, you know, moved on. Like I said, some great laughs in the process, but we got where we needed to be. I, I'm i surprised that we didn't get any of Usopp. No Usopp in these episodes. So... What's going to happen? Oh, Usopp's going to get captured, isn't he? Usopp's going to get captured by the Marines. Oh, we're going to have to get Usopp back. I Is that what's going to happen here? Oh, God. Like, if... It's not worrying because it's Luffy's granddad, right? If that is the case, if, if Usopp has been captured by the Marines, at least it's Gap. You know, and Kobe is there, so we don't have to worry about that. But, you know, like, could that be what we're going to next? I don't know, right? But, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've made it this far, uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't. Everyone that has comes back, watches, likes, comments on the videos. Thank you, guys, so, so much. I'll be back. I don't know whether to... If you guys... Uh, can give me some advice on uh, what you think of... Because there's three episodes left before the kind of like end of the arc. Do you think it's better to do the next two together and then the last one by itself? Or like the next one by itself and then the last two together? I'll, I'll, I'll ask the question in the, in the kind of like Discord and that as well. And you guys can let me know what you think. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.